report, the problem, of course, is finding your list, and that's not, not something that is easy to do or not something that one can do quickly. I, I have a, a liberal arts degree, which is to say I had no actual skill. So, <laughs> I, I, you all know what I'm talking about, um, especially the poli sci majors in the library. Five million people have died as a result of fighting. 
fighting and hunger and disease, and virtually no one in the media or in Washington pays much attention to it. Tens of thousands of women in the Democratic Republic of Congo have been raped, the majority of them violent and gang raped, often in front of their families, in front of their children, in front of their entire villages. And they're raped by men who rape them not just with their own bodies, but also with, with sticks and with knives and with bayonets. This is the majority of rapes. In a hospital, I, I met rooms full of women who, whose rapes were so violent that they could no longer control their bodily functions. Many women have actually had the barrel of guns inserted into their vaginas and the rapists have pulled the trigger. I met one woman this had happened to, she was alive, but her body, her soul, was destroyed. And I tell you this not to shock you or to disturb you, but to remind you that in the hustle and bustle of our busy lives, it's very easy to lose sight of what is truly important. It's very easy to forget the lives that many of our fellow human beings actually live. Too often, I think we're encouraged by our, our culture, our media, to focus on the frivolous, to pay attention to the things that separate us rather than the things that tie us one to another. We're a country that seems increasingly divided, rich and poor, red states or blue states, soccer moms and security moms and NASCAR dads. More and more, we're encouraged to see things through a very limited lens. Uh, on reality TV shows, we watch people swapping lives, but a genuine swapping of, of ideas and viewpoints is not something that, that many of us are encouraged to engage in. These days, it just seems to me that the, the news, people expect their news to have a slant, and, and, and that's probably the fault of the media, but I don't think it's something that any of us should accept. There should be a, a Republican truth and a Democratic truth. As a, as a broadcaster, I believe in facts, not in opinion. I know it's very popular in cable news these days for, for anchors to wear their opinion on their sleeve and to shout at the top of their lungs and shove it down viewers' throats, but I think there's far too much shouting on television already. I think the viewers want facts and information, and on with that, they're smart enough to make up their own minds.